Minor League Baseball. The training ground for potential major league players. And one of those potential big leaguers is outfielder Ian Parmley. The Lord's blessed me and with this, these abilities and I gotta go and use them as long as I can. This former Liberty player is just one of the more than 5,000 active minor league players chasing the dream of playing Major League Baseball. And the Seattle, Washington native will never forget the phone call that kept his dream alive. After my senior year at Liberty, I'm driving through Montana not knowing whether I'm going to be playing professional baseball or not. And I got a call on my way home from a Blue Jay scout saying, hey, we might take in the draft. What? And he did. In 2011, Ian was drafted in the seventh round by the Toronto Blue Jays, where he has spent the last four seasons playing in the Blue Jays minor league farm system. Everyone says it's a grind, and it really is. For Ian, spring training workouts are in Florida during the months of February, March, and April. And then you don't know where you're going to go, whether you stay in Florida or you head off to an affiliate, and then it's every day pretty much for five months. Ian is not afraid of hard work. He started his collegiate career at Bellevue College where he was a junior college All-American. At Liberty, he finished his senior year with a 314 batting average, 34 runs scored, and 19 RBIs. Ian maintained a strict schedule in college, and he does the same as a pro. What time are you going to wake up every day? What time are you going to get to the park every day? And as long as you keep your routine, it really helps out a lot. The daily routine of minor league baseball is not difficult for Ian, but the conflict between team success and player success can be challenging. Every player wants to move up to the major leagues. That's just the name of the game. I mean, you're trying to progress your own personal career while still helping your team win. As long as you keep focusing on the team, then everything else is going to fall together. As Ian continues his climb up the ladder of the minor league ranks, he says he's got a lot to be thankful for, and near the top of the list is Liberty University. There were times in junior college I was kind of lost. First time out of the house, going to JUCO, I mean, not everything went perfectly. I went to Liberty and then really found myself again. I was able to really get back to who I was as a person and to my uh, relationship with Jesus. It really helped with my baseball because, I mean, once I started professional baseball, I mean, it really wasn't in my hands anymore. So Ian will keep swinging away each day a step closer to his goal of playing in the major leagues. Just using the abilities that God gave me and gonna take it however long I play this game. I mean, I've been blessed so far and if it ended tomorrow, I'd still be happy.